have our special guest, uh, the Honourable Ken Handley, a respected international legal authority, uh, formerly a judge of the New South Wales Court of Appeal, the Court of Appeal and Supreme Court of Fiji, the Courts of Appeal of Tonga and Kiribati, and the Vice President of the Court of Appeal of Tonga. So you see, he's a judge who is in great demand around the world. So let me open the question, open the proceedings and ask Ken Handley, does the phrase, does the office of head of state appear in the Australian constitution? No. <laughs> I knew that. I have the, converse, I have the con constitution here with me. You can't find it? <laughs> the relevant section is section 61, which says the executive power of the Commonwealth is vested in the Queen and is exercisable by the Governor General as the Queen's representative. Queen uh, cannot exercise it, only the Governor General can. That makes him the head of state. Yeah. I think that's very clear. In 2009, Prime Minister Kevin Rudd described the Governor-General in this way. He was sending her to Africa, remember, in a very long series of state visits. A visit to Africa of this scale by Australia's head of state will express the seriousness of Australia's commitment. The argument of Sir David Smith appeared in the Australian Law Journal Issued December 1995, 2005, sorry, 2015. Four years have elapsed since then. There's been no reply from the Academy, no answer. Behind this article is a little story which I'll share with you. He thought that David Smith's thesis about the Governor General should be received some new publicity, but the book was not enough. The book could be ignored and was being ignored by the Academy. So we put it up to the Federal Law Review, the law magazine of the Australian National University. They refused to publish it. David and I appealed to the, the editorial committee. They dismissed the appeal. The Federal Law Review would be read by, would issue 250 copies circulating in the academy, not reach the general population or the, or the legal profession as a whole. Rejected by the Federal Law Review and the ANU, we went to the Australian Law Journal, which is the premier law journal of Australia, it circulates from Perth to Cairns, Darwin, Sydney, Melbourne, and all the rest. Circulation, 12,000 plus. They published it. So an attempt to censor Sir David Smith led to even more publicity than we originally asked for. Four years have elapsed, no reply from the Academy. No reply from the people who refused to publish David Smith's article. They were scared about it, rightly so, because Australia, head of state, is the Governor General. My question to the panel is, can we say that if anybody knew the Governor General was head of state and was intended to be head of state, surely it was these founding father judges? An actual quote from the judgment of Edmund Barton is, First of all, he talks about the states, so South Australia. The governor, as the officiating constitutional head of the state, is accordingly named as a person to whom the notification of the Senate vacancy is to be given. So in certifying to the governor general, the name of the senators elected, chosen or appointed, the governor must be regarded as acting in the capacity of the constitutional head of the state, being in that capacity the proper channel of communication with the officiating constitutional head of the Commonwealth the Governor-General, 2007, not 1907. I assume nobody on the panel dissents from the proposition that if anybody knows, knew what the Constitution was intended to mean, it would have been those judges. The next move we're going to make in this, this area is I'm going to send a letter to Mark Dreyfus, the Shadow Attorney-General, enclosing a copy of David Smith's article, mm. pointing out there's been no answer from the Academy for four years. Mm. What does he think about it? And if a future Labor government includes him, he can be challenged as a failure to rebut Sir David Smith's argument. You're going to spike their guns ahead of a Labor government. Final question to Ken Handley. We cited books and articles here supporting the conclusion the Governor-General is the Australian Head of State. Are you aware, as a leading lawyer, are you aware of any 
books or articles in leading law journals, for example, presenting arguments that the Governor-General is not the head of state. No. As I said earlier, this was published in December 2015 in the Australian Law Journal. It must have come under notice of the, everyone in the Academy, which includes a few Republicans. No response in four years. No response because there can't be a response.